Hi guys. Welcome to my channel before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to my channel. Great Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. So make sure to watch the full video. The Giza Pyramids. For the three ancient pharaohs Khufu, Khafra, and Menkora, the Giza Pyramids were constructed almost 4,500 years ago. These were the highest man-made constructions that still stood for a very long time and were constructed as enormous tombs. Among the seven wonders of the ancient world, they are currently the only ones still standing. Among the original seven wonders of the ancient world, the pyramids of Giza are the only one that is still standing. They are also the oldest. There formerly were many wonders, such as the Colossus of Rhodes, the Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, and the Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Even though they are well known, Egypt also has other pyramids worth visiting. Egypt is home to more than 130 more pyramids. Actually, there are nine pyramids in total, only on the Giza Plateau. A few others include the Pyramid of Unis, the Red Pyramid, and the Bent Pyramid. Despite their age, the Giza pyramids weren't the first structures to be erected. The earliest known pyramid is regarded as Saqqara's Steppe Pyramid of Dasodjur, which was constructed in 2630 BC. Seventy years after the Pyramid of Dasodjur, the Great Pyramid of Giza was built approximately 2560 BC. The pyramids of Giza, like many other royal monuments, have experienced repeated looting throughout history. Grave robbery was a very frequent practice in ancient Egypt since it was known that the pharaohs were buried with wealth and jewelry. Since the pyramids were finished and sealed within 500 years, it is assumed that they were looted during that time. The Khufu Great Pyramid was built using over 2.3 million stone blocks. In addition, 8,000 tons of granite and 5.5 million tons of limestone were used. They were either quarried at Giza or shipped by boat from distant locations. Like Tura and Aswan, and each stone weighed between 25 and 80 tons. The Giza Pyramids, who constructed them? Khufu, Khafra, and Menkora, three ancient Egyptian pharaohs, constructed the pyramids of Giza during the 4th dynasty. They were not the first pyramids constructed, though. Around 2670 BC, the pharaoh Djoser constructed the first pyramid at Saqqara. Then, in 2630 BC, the pharaoh Snefru, the father of Khufu, constructed the first real pyramid, the Red Pyramid at Dashur. Summarizes the necropolis from 2600 to 2500 BC, Giza. Near the ancient Egyptian capital of Memphis, the Giza necropolis once stood. A number of pharaohs, their families, and courtiers started constructing tombs there during the 4th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Starting with the pharaoh Khufu. A pharaoh would continue to rule as a god after death, according to ancient Egyptian belief. They needed to be able to reconnect with their bodies in order for their spirit to do so first. They made huge pyramids to make it possible for their spirits to locate them again in order to ensure this. They served as a location to store all the luxuries they wished to use in the afterlife. In advance of the impressive pyramids of Giza, several pyramids were built. The mastabas, or flat mounds, were used to bury early Egyptian kings. Over time, the mounds increased in height. At Saqqara, around 2670 BC, the pharaoh Djoser eventually constructed a steppe pyramid. The first real pyramid, the Red Pyramid at Dashur, was constructed around 2630 BC by Pharaoh Snefru, the father of Khufu, who built the Great Pyramid, the Khafra Pyramid. Following the construction of the Great Khufu Pyramid, the Pyramid of Khufu was erected on the Giza Plateau. When his elder brother Djedefer abdicated, Khafra, who became Pharaoh, took his place. It was built as a tomb for him. About 2570 BC saw the completion of the pyramid's construction which was made of granite and limestone. Though it initially seems larger than Khufu's pyramid, this is only a result of its higher elevation and the steeper angles of its sides. It is actually a little bit smaller in both height and volume. Malek's Pyramid Around 2510 BC, Menkora's complex of pyramids was finished, making it the last of the large pyramids to be built on the Giza Plateau. The Egyptian pharaoh Menkora, who succeeded his father Khafra to the throne in the 4th dynasty, had it constructed as his tomb. The complex of pyramids includes the King's Pyramid, as well as three subsidiary or Queen's Pyramids. A valley temple, a causeway, and a mortuary temple. 
Archaeologists think that because some of the pyramid's construction was left unfinished or rough, it was probably built quickly after the pharaoh's early demise. Having a height of only 62 meters, the Pyramid of Menkora is the smallest of the pyramids of Giza. It was built in the 26th century BC by the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Menkora and is situated southwest of the other two pyramids of Giza. The only one of the three pyramids of Giza without any of the original polished limestone casing is this one. Continue to learn more about this old tomb by turning the page. Giza's Sphinx. An image of a man with a lion's body can be found in the Great Sphinx of Giza. Due to its resemblance to the mythical winged creature from ancient Greek mythology, it was referred to as a Sphinx by the Greeks. The name Abu al-Hol, which means Father of Terror, in Arabic, was used by the Arabs to refer to it. The valley temple was connected to the Pyramid of Khafra by a causeway that was carved out of the bedrock there. This indicates that it was probably carved during Khafra's rule, circa 2558-2532 BC. Also thought to have been modeled after Pharaoh Khafra's features was the Sphinx's face. With a length of 73 meters, 240 feet, and a height of 20 meters, 66 feet, the Sphinx is oriented from west to east. The Temple of the Sphinx was constructed from the stones that were used to carve the Sphinx, which was sculpted around 2500 BC. The Great Sphinx is not particularly associated with this temple, despite its name and location. Ra, the Egyptian sun god, is the recipient of a dedication to him. It was built on an east-west axis. The Sphinx was revered as a god called hor em Aket, also known as Horus of the Horizon. In ancient Egypt's New Kingdom period, the temple was later renovated and rebuilt in the 14th century BC. And Hor M cult Akats was given priority when it was done so by the pharaohs Thutmose I and Amenhotep II. Atlas of Giza. Outside of Cairo, the Egyptian capital city, is a location known as the Giza Plateau. The Great Pyramids of Giza, the Great Sphinx, a number of smaller pyramids a worker's village, and other monuments can be found there. It is the location of an ancient Egyptian cemetery. A significant region is located close to Giza, a Cairo suburb. The location of the area, which was once on the outskirts of Memphis, the capital of the ancient Egyptians, made it the ideal location for a sizable funerary complex. It is where the Giza necropolis can be found, which houses the tombs of numerous 4th dynasty kings, their families, nobles, and courtiers. This list includes the well-known pyramids of Giza, which served as the tombs of the pharaohs Khufu, Khafra, and Menkora. Each of these pyramids has a small complex that contains a number of temples and subsidiary pyramids. With its great pyramids of Giza, great sphinx, and other historical wonders, the Giza Plateau is one of Egypt's most famous locations. Over 4,500 years old, these pyramids rank among the oldest structures ever built by humans. In this vast region, there are a variety of experiences to be had, from thrilling pursuits to cultural gatherings. The Great Sphinx, among other things, is situated on the Giza Plateau. So, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. Use the comments section below to tell us what you think about the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of all the latest videos.